Good afternoon, friends. Uh, myself, Manju Radha, and my topic is basics of school admin. Before explaining uh, you about this topic, I'm just going to give you a brief introduction about Marble Soft. Uh, it, uh, it is established in year 2009 by set of IT professionals, and it delivers software technology enabled solution to school and colleges uh, so that they can take advantage of latest technology in their day-to-day -day activities. One of the important product of this company is uh, School Admin. It is a complete software solution for managing school's day-to-day -day activities, and it not only provides benefits to like uh, management of a school, it also provides benefits to various departments which are involved in a schools, like uh, cashier, library, teachers, staff, students, for maintaining their day-to-day -day, sorry for maintaining their academic or administrative information. Uh, before uh, installing this project, you need uh, some system requirements like uh, Pentium 4 processor or uh, above 2 GB two GB minimum RAM and 2 GB free hard disk and uh, Windows XP or above operating system. These are the features of uh, school admin pro uh, project like uh, user and role management. There are various users are present in schools like uh, cashier, admin, uh, teachers, li uh, library, and uh, that administrator can uh, set up access permission to each user. User can take their login information from administrator and can log into their respective module. By this way, the, uh, even administrator can control uh, access to particular module. Even administrator can change uh, role and responsibility of particular users. Library masters. Uh, this provides complete library management solution to schools and colleges, and uh, this uh, this module is made computerized to lessen human effort and to increase efficiency. Even maintenance of record is made easier because all the data are stored in cent uh, MySQL database, and navigation control is provided in all the forms, uh, so that navigate through large number of record. Even searching and editing is made easier. All the uh, library related transactions will be happen here. Accounts. It deals with all the expenses and income of a school. Like uh, here you can create uh, expense uh, account head or income account head. For that you need to go to master, click on account head. It will open one window like uh, account head master window will open. It needs some information like group name. You can put their stationery or building fund like for in income or expense. After that, you need to create in, uh, expense or income account in account. For that, you need to go to master account and you need to fill some information. Even you can generate expense and account, uh, expense or income uh, reports. Again, you can uh, perform searching, filtering based on uh, expense and account head. Expense or income account head. Student. This module deals with all the information related with the student, like their academic in information, their progress details, everything. Here you can enter all the students' information, even you can generate student records, uh, various type of reports, like uh, study come conduct certificate, and one uh, regular study certificate. You can enter attendance details, even you can uh, update attendance details, you can generate attendance report, etc. Master. This is one of the most important module. Uh, it acts like a central repository where staff can enter all the accurate information which is relevant to their school operation. And the information present in this master module will be accessed to all other screen. I uh, am saying about the all other modules. Here uh, I can set up class, sections, subject, schools, uh, class subject, fee, fee group, KV configuration class, uh, caste, caste category, everything, every information that is needed by other module, we can set here. And the, uh, admin master is used generally for uh, report preparation. Fee collection. Fee collection. The yeah. All the transactions will be done in uh, admin master. Yeah. Model. Teachers. This module manage all the activity related with teacher. Once teacher logging into this module, uh, he can, uh, he, he can enter uh, student attendance, their progress details, even he can send uh, uh, some details to their parents like uh, growth details, transport. 
This model provides complete transportation management solution to school and colleges. With the help of it helps to it helps you with the task like uh, efficient route building. Uh, and uh, even maintaining and assigning buses, it, it keeps track of all the records of students and staffs and assign them to particular routes and particular buses. I just forgot to mention one pre admission module is there. Uh, pre admission is uh, deal with most important aspect like uh, admission of a student. With the help of this, you can uh, enroll student to the school. Uh, without enrolling, you cannot enable a student for further processing. There are three main categories, pre-admission and admit student and report generation. In report, you, you can uh, generate three types of reports. Uh, in order to um, take pre-admission, you need to go to pre-admission category. You need to click over there and you need to fill lots of details about the students. And one more thing, you can, uh, one more column is there like account payment, uh, advance payment. Uh, the payment you made here, like you put there, you, it, that will be reflected on the admit to student uh, section. Once that student uh, satisfy all the requirement of a school, you can uh, admit that uh, you can change the status of a student by clicking on admit to student. Uh, the status, all status are there. You can click on the admit, uh, admit status and once you can confirm, you can generate report and one SMS and email module. This module helps teacher, uh, school and colleges to reach their parents, staff and students with the more reliable, cost effective and appropriate way. With the help of this module, they can send like parent teacher meeting information, unscheduled holiday information and uh, they, can send also, they can also send notification to their staff about timing scheduling of classes. There are three main categories like uh, send messages, message and message status, uh, sent status. Can open school admin. Sir, uh, I need to share something because uh, that SMS and email information module is not there. Okay. Okay. I can explain it. Can go to this one now. Mm -hmm. Where it is? Open up more tab. Tell us the features how they work. No need to show how to create. As I told you, it's a, it's an important module. It's a, it helps school and colleges to reach their students, parents, and staff. There are three main categories in this module: like uh, message, send message, and message status. Uh, send status. Uh, if you want to send messages to parents, staff, you need to click on that message uh, category. And here we use template concept to send messages like that, uh, like messages contain information that not frequently change. We can uh, save, we can compose and save that type of messages as a template and use for further uh, processing. Even you, uh, you can edit information before sending that template, that particular template as a SMS or email. Once you uh, deal with all these things, you need to send messages, then you click message, uh, send messages category. And you need you need to select uh, like you, to whom you want to send messages. Yeah. You need to select to whom you want to send message. Like as uh, sorry, 
how you want to send message like sms wise or email wise and again you need to select that template all these are there once you select this one it will show like uh, all the message belongs to this general category and Yeah, you can select this anyone you want, and you can select a student or a staff to whom you want to send message, and click on next. Uh, we can also check the status of uh, that message. For that, you need to uh, go to send uh, message send status, and you can. Here, if it is true, it means message has been sent successfully, and it will take uh, I, I think three minutes, thirty minutes to five hours to reach. It takes anywhere between one minute to. But then, so it was old. Earlier we were using the normal SMSs. Now we are using priority SMS, and also they are transactional in nature. So say you send the message now, in the very next minute it will reach. And if the traffic is too high, it will take anywhere between five minutes to thirty minutes or one hour. So in that case, if the traffic is huge, you cannot predict when it is going to reach. It might take more time. But in the normal uh, case. It just takes one to five minutes to send the messages. So these are the modules and features that we have, and what are, what are the benefits? Yeah, it is user friendly. Yeah, fine. These are the benefits of this product. It is user friendly. Every information is just available in one click, and it follow modular approach so that uh, changes can be made easily according to your requirements. And uh, automated and quick report generation is also possible with the help of this product. And it, you can use it as an online mode or offline mode. Both. Both. All these are snapshots. Like, uh, okay, I'm uh, I'm just explaining about the installation process. No installation may not. You need to have screens, otherwise uh, it becomes very difficult. You can just run through all the screens. Only that much features. What other uh, benefits we have? Anybody wants to add? Add. Would I tomorrow? Or will I tell now? Just take us to the screenshot. Just uh, press it. Right? Say something. This is the main login screen from where the, all the users can log in. It is uh, same for uh, even teachers, students, parents, everyone. They just need to provide their username and login. With this, they will be able to access the software. Either if the software is hosted online, they can log in online from sitting at their home, and they can access. The chairman can access the software. Even the parents can access. If it is uh, installed within the school premises, then uh, you can just provide your login within any LAN within the school network. You will be able to log in into the school admin software. And once you log in, it will show the information for which you, the rights have been given to you. Okay. Global settings. What is global settings? Once you install this software, the home uh, and after uh, providing username and password, you go to home page. Sorry, home page will automatically open, and there you need to set something like uh, you need to set uh, some global information and some local like master. This global thing is applicable for uh, some like ma one thing. This one. Yeah, like uh, school master, it is applicable for the lifetime of school. Like school name can't cha we change, or address. Sometimes it's possible, but not every time. And uh, okay, settings. In default setting, it is used to set up display module. Like how many module you want to display? Like by enabling or dis uh, disabling by this concept. Okay, so here we can go back. Go back to yeah. So in display we can uh, configure the views. Yeah. Say the student model, how many columns have to be displayed without going into the additional details in the table. 
how many number of columns has to be visible and for the staff also we can set and in case of fee payments we can set whether it is a uh, cash payment by default if the in a, in a given school if all the payments are collected as cash then we can just set it as cash here so that the person who is collecting the fees need not change it every time okay so and how many number of slabs that we need so all the default setting by default once you configure this in their respective screen well, once you visit it will always show those information based on the settings defined here it is not going to change it is permanent and at any time you want to change any uh, default settings you can visit this screen which is there in options uh, settings menu and you can change the default one because this is academic year academic year we can create a uh, manage any number of academic years so school admin uh, provides a facility where if you maintain your details for uh, uh, say two to three years at any point you can go back to any academic year and find out what were the activities that have taken place what is the number of admissions in 2010 2011 2013 so you will have entire history of all the transactions and activities happened in the school so that is the advantage of uh, academic and every academic year you can change when you go to academic year next academic year all the promotions will happen automatically and all the basic configuration which is required for the next academic year will also be configured when we switch to a new academic year these are master settings like class sections class you should define so these are the basic class. things we have to define every academic year if any changes are there we are going to record it in the master mm -hmm. typically in the masters class section subjects remain constant for most of the uh, you know like for few years and the main information which keeps on changing is the fees, fee amount and fee groups which differ every academic year. It might increase, decrease or we might come up with new fees. So all those things will be defined in the master's plan. Questions? I just... Oh, that's good. Everybody got confused. <laughs>